How are we doing today guys? Sam here in Anglers and today we're going to be putting together a little umbrella rig. So I have a whole slew of things laid out in front of us and I'm just going to go over a few things that you're going to need for it. Starting out, your hook bait. Um, most of the time you're going to be using a parachute, however this is the fall time or the summertime, you can certainly go down to a bucktail or some sort of skirted jig. Today we're going to go over a parachute. Now if you are trolling in the springtime, 9 inch shads is typically the way to go. So you're going to need a 9 inch shad and anywhere from a 9 to 10 odd uh, stinger hook. Um, you're going to need some line for your hook bait drop. So this here is a 19 inch section of 80 pound mono. Now you can use as light as 60 pound all the way up to 100 pound. 60 pound is the limit to where you can actually tie it by hand. Once you get to 80 and 100 pound, you're going to start crimping. So that brings us to our crimpers. We have the Momoi Diamond Crimpers here, which is our favorite set here at this shop. You're just going to need one high quality interlock uh, dulce or just an interlock snaps roll there. You're going to need a couple 1.0 crimps if you're using 80 pound to 100 pound mono. Moving over here, we have some Eagle Claw safety snap swivels. These are going to be how we're going to attach the teasers to our frame here on the umbrella. Speaking of the frame, there's many different frames out there. This is the one I like the most here on the bay. It's a 15 inch, 15 inch six arm, and this is going to allow you to have a nice, you get six teasers on here, but without so much drag as some of the bigger ones have. The bigger ones are great for making a big profile, but if you're only running a few rods or you've got a bunch of rods out there and you don't need so many teasers, it's really hard to be a classic six, six arm, 15 inch bar. Um, so starting out, we gotta get with the teasers. So this is the little safety snap here. Now you can use interlock snaps. Um, however, these are just a little bit cheaper and they work just fine. Um, you're just going to go in here through the nose and you can kind of line up to where you want it to come out and bend that out a little bit. So I'm going to go as centered as I can, about a quarter inch down, and then I'll just lock that interlock in like that. For time's sake, I have already put these together here, the other remaining ones. So with these bars, you're just going to pop these little arms out here. Now the only thing you want to look for when you're picking on a snap is one that's going to lock into this arm. You want it big enough that when I close this latch here, it's not going to want to slide back. Um, a lot of your smaller ones will kind of slip through there, but most of your larger sizes will do just fine through there. So you will attach all of these. So that is it for your frame. Now, when you do buy these, they will come with a little cheap dual lock snap that comes on the underneath side. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that off. That's not gonna hold if you get yourself into a big fish. So pushing over here to the parachute, I just picked out a little three ounce parachute. Um, starting out here, we're gonna have to put a stinger hook in this bait. So what you'll do is you'll line up the parachute head here with that hook, and you can get yourself a pretty good idea as to where that hook's gonna come out nice and flush. So I'll make a little mark with my finger there. Kind of scrape that just so I know where that is. Then I can lay my hook along here and I can kind of get an idea as to where my stinger hook will come out, which is gonna be right there. Now when you're adding this stinger hook, one tip I can give you is you don't wanna to go too deep into the shad here. Um, it'll kind of curl the whole bait up. So we're just gonna go in maybe an eighth inch into the body of the bait. Where you're gonna use this little seam line from the factory just to kind of help us along the way. And we're gonna push that on back to that point wants to come up right where we scribe that line for our stinger hook. I'm gonna push that through and we'll slide that there right till it seats on the bait nice and straight like that. Straight as we can get it at least. And then all you gotta do is put your hook through and try and meet it with that eye on the stinger hook. Throw that on up in there. Right, that's a nice straight shad. Now, if it's a little cockeyed, you can pull that hook out and do it again. You do want this bait to run nice and true when we're out there trolling. So moving on to the leader, um, we're just going to take our .0 crimp, going to slide that onto there, followed by our coast lock snap swivel. Hopefully your hands aren't as shaky as mine. You can get it in there. And slide that down until you got about an eighth to a quarter inch. And I leave just a touch of tag. Now, if you leave too much of a tag in, one thing you'll run into, especially in the springtime, 
is um, the little jellies will catch on that tag end. And in the summertime, you get a lot of grass that attaches on there. For this particular sleeve, we're gonna use the first slot there on my crimpers. Now, when you're crimping this, you can see how I have a little bit of edge on each end of the crimp where I'm gonna press down. Now, that's important because you want that to flare out. If that's not flared out, and the, the ends of the crimp are gonna be smushed, they'll end up cutting into the mono. So we need to have a little room so that when this is crimped, that line can move without chafing. So from there, you just put it into the vices, squeeze till you can't no more, pull it out. And if it's done correctly, you should be able to see little to no tag in and a good flare on each end with a nice stamped middle. And then we just got to follow up that process on the parachute. This could be a little bit trickier because you got a couple more things going on here. Pull the hair back, put the sleeve onto the line, go ahead and throw that onto there. It's again leaving a short tag, if any tag, so we can avoid snagging things in the bay. And I'm going to come back in with my crimpers making sure I'm right in the center of that crimping space so that I can get a good flare on it. From there, I'm gonna use the table here to help me out to get it started, and then I can come all over around and smash that crimp down. And once again, we're looking for a nice flare on each end of the crimp. So that's it, you've got your leader attached here. You wanna fix your hair on your parachute so it runs nice and pretty for you. And then it's just a matter Opening up your co-slot, putting that onto the underside of your umbrella frame. And that's it guys. We have a nice springtime trophy season umbrella rig ready to go. All right, well, we appreciate you guys stopping by and come on by and check out all the stuff we have ready for your spring trolling this year. Have a good one.